the first day of Christmas a neighbor gave to me a candle to brighten my way. On the second day of Christmas a barber gave to me two powdered wigs and a candle to brighten my way. On the third day of Christmas a fiddler gave to me three violins, two powdered wigs, and a candle to brighten my way. On the fourth day of Christmas a baker gave to me four ginger men, three violins, two powdered wigs, and a candle to brighten my way. On the fifth day of Christmas a jeweler gave to me five golden rings, four ginger men, three violins, two powdered wigs, and a candle to brighten my way. On the sixth day of Christmas, the weaver gave to me six woven baskets. Five golden rings. Four gingerbread. Three violins. Two powdered wigs. And a candle to brighten my way. On the seventh day of Christmas, the baker gave to me five golden rings. Four gingerbread. Three violins. Two powdered wigs. And a candle to brighten my way. On the seventh day of Christmas, the cooper gave to me seven burly barrels. Six woven baskets. Five golden rings. Four gingerbread. And the candle to brighten my way. On the eighth day of Christmas, the printer gave to me eight Christmas stories. Seven burly barrels. Six golden baskets. Five golden rings. Four gingerbread. Three violins. Two powdered wigs. And a candle to brighten my way. On the ninth day of Christmas, the spinner gave to me nine spools of linen. Eight Christmas stories, seven burly barrels, six woven baskets, five golden rings, four gingerbread, three violins, two powdered wigs, and a candle to brighten my way. On the tenth day of Christmas, the milliner gave to me. Ten ladies' bonnets. Nine spools of linen. Eight Christmas stories. Seven burly barrels. Six woven baskets. Five golden rings. Four gingerbread. Three violins. Two powdered wigs. And a candle to brighten my way. On the eleventh day of Christmas, a blacksmith gave to me eleven lucky horseshoes. Ten ladies' bonnets. Nine spools of linen. Eight Christmas stories. Seven burly barrels. Six woven baskets. Five. And the candles are lighting my way. On the twelfth day of Christmas, the wheel that gave to me twelve wheels are turning. Eleven lucky horses, ten ladies' bonnets, nine spools of linen, eight Christmas stories, seven burly barrels, six woven baskets. Ginger men, three violins, two powdered wigs, and a candle to brighten my way. Harry Como's Early American Christmas, with his special guest star John Wayne. And his guests, Diana Canova, the winner of the Tchaikovsky International Competition, Eugene Fodor, Miss America, Kylie Barker, the College of William and Mary Choir, and the dancers, craftsmen, fife and drum corps, and people of Colonial Williamsburg.
Merry Christmas to you. And a Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas and welcome to our Christmas show from Colonial Williamsburg, the cradle of American democracy. Williamsburg today is uh, just as you might have seen it on Christmas Day in the 18th century. Everybody's kind of hanging holly wreaths and singing carols and meeting at each other's homes. Of course, colonial homes didn't have the conveniences that we have today. You know, they had no electricity, no, no heating, no plumbing, no carpeting. Today, a place like that would easy go for $800 a month. Seven of our first 12 presidents were Virginians who lived and spent much time right here. This wonderful old house belonged to George Wythe. He was one of the seven Virginians who signed the Declaration of Independence. George Washington, Patrick Henry often met here. Also Thomas Jefferson, who wrote the Declaration of Independence. Everything inside the Wythe House is just about as it was on Christmas Day 200 years ago. Let's go and have a look. without a microwave oven. <laughs> now we're talking. Oh, trifles. Pecan pie. <laughs> Looks like an Italian cake. Oh. 
pizza partridge in the pear tree. Kind words pleasure me. Merry Christmas, Professor Whiff. Uh, Merry Christmas. Uh, are we acquainted, sir? Uh, only by history. Oh, uh, may I have a name to call you by? Como, Perry Como. <laughs> this is one of my young law students, Thomas Jefferson. How do you do? Are you a Virginian? No, 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 Pennsylvania. Oh, Pennsylvania. What is that old rascal Ben Franklin up to these days? Well, he, he just invented a new pair of glasses. They're called bifocals. To what purpose? Old Ben says they're very practical. He can be at a party, kiss a young lady, and watch her husband at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> I've always respected Dr. Franklin's political philosophy. You know, our professors at William and Mary constantly quote him. He who lives without freedom lives without hope. To be free of bondage or restraint. To live under a government based on the consent of the people. These are basic among all freedoms. Something to remember this Christmas, Mr. Como. I will. And of course, Christmas will always be a time for love in this house. Sometimes in the morning, when shadows are deep, I lie there beside you. Just watch you sleep And sometimes I whisper What I'm thinking of My God Run it over with love Sometimes Beautiful song. And you sing it beautifully. Why, thank you, sir. I wish I had something to give you, like a, like a bouquet. How about a pineapple? Oh, well, that's appropriate. Really? Mm -hmm. I guess that's the reason it's here. <laughs> what do you mean appropriate? Pineapples are very rare in Virginia. Really? Yeah, it's a symbol of colonial hospitality and friendship. I didn't know that. If you brought me diamonds. If you brought me pearls If you brought me roses Like some other men Might bring to other girls It couldn't please me more Than the gift I see A pineapple For me If 
in your emotion You began this way When to get some air Or grab a chair To keep from fainting dead away It couldn't please me more Than to see you claim To the pile I Great. Would you like a slice? Might be nice, but I'm just trying to watch my weight. Then I shall leave it here, not to eat but see. A pineapple for me. From Colonial Williamsburg had its last-minute Christmas shoppers, too. Of course, they had it much easier then. Gifts were only for children, servants, and the poor. And Christmas trees were unknown to the colonies. How lucky for them. They never knew what it was like trying to get a 10-foot Christmas tree into a trunk of a Volkswagen. Oh, they had holly wreaths and they had mistletoe. It is beautiful. You have a very fine eye, sir. That bow would be a fine addition to any gentleman's house. But besides my own words, I do have this beautiful antique I'd like you to see. Oh, <laughs> graceful of line. And a very romantic history. Louis XVI gave it to his queen, and she, in turn, gave it to Count de Fersen, and he gave it to the Duchess of Versailles. <laughs> well, if none of those folks wanted it, you're not going to pawn it off on me. That music box is a very unique piece. It's lovely. Great craftsmanship. It's beautiful. And it plays early 16th century music. Excuse me, I have to help another customer. 16th century music? Most interesting. There you have it, sir. The latest edition of the Virginia Gazette. I see that your lead story is on George Washington. General Washington's a native son. Uh, we Virginians are very proud of him. And you have reason to be. On Christmas night, 1776, General George Washington crossed the Delaware River with a detachment of artillery and troops and quickly and effectually surrounded the British forces occupying Trenton and forced them to lay down their arms in defeat. And also in 1776, uh, Washington defeated General Howe's forces at Harlem Heights. And in 1777, he defeated Cornwallis at Princeton. And shortly thereafter, at nearby Monmouth, he defeated the British and uh, forced them to retreat. Well, did this uh, George Washington ever lose a battle? No, and he never will. Not as long as I'm publishing this newspaper. <laughs>
Christmas. Merry Christmas, Barry. John, Merry Christmas to you. Nice oh, to see you. Thank you. You look wonderful in that tuxedo. Oh, thanks. It's kind of confusing. I couldn't find a place to put my gun back. <laughs> what a magnificent room. Governor's Palace, eh? And just to thank the great men that visited here, John. People like George Washington, George Mason, James Monroe. All the men who shaped the destiny of our country. Mm -hmm. And Patrick Henry and Thomas Jefferson lived right here when they served as governor of the great commonwealths of Virginia. They missed a few Christmases, though, serving their country. It's a tough thing being away for Christmas. Yeah, I, I found this letter, Perry, from a young militiaman to his mother. It's dated December the 20th. 1758, honored mother, I write this letter by campfire light high above the 
broad river known as the Ohio. Tonight, our colonel informed us a courier will be <clears throat> leaving for Williamsburg at dawn's light. If God keeps him safe, you should receive this letter soon. It snowed hard all yesterday and continued through the night. Our soldiers are numb with cold and much fatigued from our skirmishes with the French and the Indians. But we take heart with the knowledge that we have kept them from setting foot on Virginia's soil. Rather than engaging the enemy, how I wish I were using my rifle as I did last Christmas, going into the woods, shooting down mistletoe from the high trees in the forest, watching my brother and sister gather the holly and ivy to put in Bruton Parish Church. I remember the rhyme you taught us, holly and ivy, box and bay, put in the church on Christmas Day. Although tormented by thoughts of home, I find tranquility in my commitment. Every young man has to reach out to something. I hope that peace comes soon and that I can return to you and my beloved Williamsburg, your obedient son, Matthew. That's quite a letter, Matthew. way to top that is to swing into a good old Virginia reel.
no six. What about five shillings, ladies and gentlemen? Well, what about four shillings then? Four shillings, sir. What about five? Five shillings. What about six shillings? Six shillings. What about seven shillings? Seven. I've got seven. Here we are for the lovely lady right here. All right, now, ladies and gentlemen, here we have an apothecary jar. Do I have two shillings? Two shillings. Two shillings. Thank you. What about three shillings, ladies and gentlemen? Three shillings. What about Hand in hand bear I Be decked with bays and rosemary And I pray you, my masters, be merry Prohestis in convivio Caput a bridge ferro Raiden's loudest domino Here we come a-wassailing Among the leaves of green Three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day. I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day in the morning. And may the sail the ships all be on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day. They sailed away to Bethlehem on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day. They sailed away into Bethlehem on Christmas Day in the morning. And what was in those ships all three on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day? And what was in those ships all three on Christmas Day in the morning? The Virgin Mary and Christ were there on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day. The Virgin Mary and Christ was there on Christmas Day in the morning. Christmas and a happy new year. Good we job. Wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a happy new year. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Two. Two shillings. What about three? Three shillings. What about four, sir? Four shillings.
Good night.